Today we have the opportunity to discuss the private client trends of the financial year 23-24. I have none other than Bijal to have her input on what has been the noticeable trends of the past financial year. Sure, thank you Aditi. So if one had to sum up the past year, I think there have been two or three noticeable trends. One is the rise of residency as well as pre-immigration planning. Never before have we seen the number of families looking to relocate to India or relocate out of India. And there are a number of stats which have shown that the number of families really immigrating has only increased. The second is emphasis on structuring of the family office. From the pandemic itself, the need to grow the family corpus has never been much stronger. And third, as I would say, is planning using trust structures ahead of key milestones such as listing or corporate restructuring, especially when there is an element of a personal guarantee or a debt. So the world is becoming a smaller place. Absolutely. Uh, any any uh, legal changes or amendments that have prompted these trends, Bijal, in the past year? So one, I would definitely feel that uh, non-legal or non-regulatory would be the fact of the growing wealth in India itself, okay. wherein India does seem to be a very promising uh, jurisdiction for creation of wealth. Sure. Other than regulatory changes and the first approval of the gift city, there has been little or uh, legislative change. From a tax perspective as well, the budget as expected being an interim budget included extremely minimal changes. So the myth or the misnomer that tax is the driver for succession planning exercise has officially been busted. Absolutely. Great. And, and Bijal, if one was to learn from the past year, what do you think are the typical rookie mistakes, if I can call it that, uh, that will help us avoid those um, issues in the coming year? Yes. So I guess the rookie uh, mistakes would be, you know, well, without generalization too much. I feel there are a couple of things that come to my mind, you know, immediately. One is to keep the plan simple. Yeah. At times to facilitate varied scenarios or potential legal changes, over engineering the structure can lead to a complex uh, structure that the family may find difficult to comprehend. Second, I would say is keep this uh, plan flexible where it should always allow some leeway to improvise. The third is perhaps the most important of them all is to start. Very often the family keeps thinking and over engineering when to really begin and which is where you never land up having a succession plan. Awaiting for the right or perfect time to implement a plan often leads to unfavorable situations where there is no plan at all. A stitch in time as they say. Absolutely. And, and with April 1st uh, around the corner, uh, what are your predictions or what is your uh, sort of insight going into the new financial year? Well, if I was to crystal ball gaze into 2024-25, I would imagine that the focus on wealth creation as well as wealth preservation shall continue. The focus on adopting family charters, arrangements as well as a mode of calibrating control over businesses as well as holdings between family branches to effectively uh, effectuate uh, dif uh, disputes shall also continue. On the cross-border front, the systematic approach of timing the pre-immigration planning to ensure complete compliance as well as structuring to build offshore corpus through overseas investment or gift entities shall assume centre stage. Thank you, Bijal.